Hi my lovelies, thanks for joining. I hope you will enjoy this tutorial. It's um, actually quite simple. Um, it's just one of the easiest ways I figured to do a little flower. Um, this one is blue. You can make it at any color you want. I just decided to do blue because it shows up good on camera. And again, it's so easy. Uh, just follow along and I can guarantee that you're going to succeed at this. So here we go. Hope you enjoy it. I start off by doing five dots or little petals. You can do four, you can do three, it's all up to you. And then you rinse your brush, just a damp brush, not too wet and not too dry. And then all you'll do is spread out the petals like so. very carefully and oh, blocking the light <laughs> spread out the five petals like that if you want a little bit darker at the edges I sort of like it with um, when it's lighter at the edges here so but it's all up to taste I find it makes them look more delicate this way. So now while it's still wet, I'm going to go into a darker blue or a darker family of color, of whatever color you're using. And I am just going to dab around the inner petals. And it will take what it wants and leave what it doesn't it's going to bleed a little it might bleed a lot if it bleeds a lot you can just lift i should show an example if it bleeds too much hold on let's say this one here you put on too much an example it's very easy to remove although i like the bleeding but if you do not want it to bleed too much, you can remove it by applying a clean, damp brush to it. And sometimes happy accidents happen. Look how beautiful that petal is. I actually love that. <laughs> so now I will attempt to apply this, but I know it's going to smear because it's wet, but it's all good. So while it is still damp, I go in with a bit of black and I will only touch a little bit in the middle and some certain areas of the blue. So it'll really intensify the blue and make it darker, like really powerful. So you can see it bleeding. You can help it along if you want it to bleed a little bit like that one. I actually like that one. So you go in with a damp brush and you just touch, just gently touch the edge and it'll do it on its own once you touch the edge very gently and you don't want to drag it against your petals. You just want to touch it gent gently, gently bently as they say, by just touching it like that. And I really like that. There. It's all about the damp brush. It can do wonders. I'm pretty pleased with this one. So I will go into green and I'll work on the stem. I'm keeping this very simple. You can make your stem more crookedy or I like to make mine straight for this 
and then I'll add a leaf for this one and then another leaf here and a few little twigs and thorns and whatnot and I will give him a little friend I will go in with a little bit of olive green in certain areas, not everywhere. Another thing I really love to do is I'll clean my brush. We'll go into a little bit of yellow. Just drop it in because we all know that yellow is, especially lemon yellow, it's um, I call it a bully color. <laughs> it is a bully because it just pushes everything back, but it makes it look so nice. And you can even drop it into the stem and it'll join with the, the stems here. It'll even everything out. If you want one a little bit lighter, you can just sop it up a little. Now I'll go back in with my, my blue. And make a little buddy, a little buddy of a bud for this one. Rinse my brush, and again, like I did with this one, just take out the excess but I want this to just be a little bud because he's not completely developed yet and I will go in with the dark green give him a little a little bed to be on here with a damp brush. I'm just going to clean off the edges of this one. There. It's a little harsh looking for my taste. So you can always go in with a damp brush and even everything out. Nothing is actually done until you decide. You can add, remove, to a point, remove. Um, but it's actually doable. I like it to smooth into transition into the sides and the bottom of the, the bud. I want it to be darker. And there you have it. A super simple enough flower and you can even, if you wanna play around with your leaves, even though it's dry, you redampen it with a little bit of the lemon yellow. And hooray, you can just rework this. And then you can drop the dark green while it's in there. And it makes it look super cool. So I hope you like this one and that you'll give it a try. I guarantee you will succeed. Keep trying and trying again. It's one of the easiest ways I find to make a, fi um, a fire, <laughs> a flower, and you can do the flower in any color you choose. Um, I also have another video lined up, which I hope to upload in the next week or so. It'll all, it'll be about painting with a twig, and I hope you'll join me. Enjoy your day, my lovelies, and please try this little girl out. I want you to try this out. See you later. Bye, my lovelies. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. I'd appreciate it. Love yous. Bye.